Okay, this video is going to cover the layout and landscaping possibilities that you can do with hugel cultures. They're not just a raised bed mound type of thing that grows really well, but I've seen a lot of different uses for them in their landscaping as well. And so let's get started. The one on the left is the keyhole design. Basically, you do this semicircle type of thing so that you have access into the middle of your mound because you know if you do if you enclose the circle you know you can't have access to the interior growing part because it's a mound you know so uh, I've seen a lot of people uh, do them that way and they look really cool too the middle one is when it, when your water is flowing downhill and you can make this kind of semicircle type of thing and the mound will direct water to either side and uh, it'll it'll water the surrounding area and this is also going on while it's uh, breaking down and holding water within the mound itself too so keep that in mind that uh, they're kind of double effective at things like promoting fungus growth into the soil around the area you know the fungal mycelium is growing all throughout the soil and it's also spreading out way beyond the mound itself so that's another possibility and i've seen people um you know incorporate a lot of different styles so these are just the basics and you know use your imagination that if you want to be artistic with it you can make them into i don't know snake designs or or whatever you want really and then the one on the right is another kind of water flow thing i've seen uh on properties that might have a small creek going through it or maybe when heavy rains come there's an area that uh, water flows on your on the property so if you build these mounds on either side the, there'll be a creek running through the middle and they'll be capturing a lot of water and uh, so that's another way of doing it and i also have this uh, this note that i like to deep mulch around every hugel culture that i make um, just some simple wind mulch and I usually try to get at least six inches around it just adds to the water holding of this whole uh, system and uh, provides you know just provides more water over time for it so another there's a lot of variations on these especially the middle one and so I've seen you know large-scale ones where people have just you know large properties and they bring in a ton of wood and you know they have you know they have uh, tractors going and uh, dump trucks and uh, they you know the scale is basically there's no limit to what you can do with these and so if you are if you have a lot of water flowing downhill you can do kind of a terrace thing like on the left um, yeah these are al almost like a terrace and you're having you're almost making your own creek instead of the water just you know sheeting right through the property you know it's being caught and directed wherever you want to and then on the right you know you might have maybe a dry area that you want to want to direct water towards so you can do that too and uh you know get get water to to uh you know what needs it so um, these are just kind of some quick possibilities that i've seen uh, people use and uh, hopefully it gets your imagination going so thanks for watching leave some comments or questions down below